Welcome back heroes to some more Pokemon Infinite Fusion. Last episode we started the post game. First of all we went to Crimson City just to go check it out because we hadn't been there before. Found a Marwile which was really great. Um, fused it with Zoroark, it looked kind of cool but then I obviously defused it and I was trying to find a Pokemon to fuse with Zoroark. And I was looking in the box thinking what could we do that could make it look really cool. And I noticed we had a Kalia. So I got a Gardevoir and I already have a Gardevoir but I got another Gardevoir now, and I've used it as Zorox. We have technically like two Gardevoirs on the team, but do I care? No, they look cool. So we have a new team member and it looks so good. It looks so, so good, man. Just, it looks amazing. It looks just, I love this, love it so much. So our team just looks so good. It still needs a bit of grind, it's still super under leveled. But today's episode, we are going to head south, go through Elix Forest, and I don't know if there's a little event with Celebi maybe, I don't know, but we're going to go to Elix Forest and maybe do some stuff there. If not, we'll get to Azalea Town? Is it Azalea Town? I, th I think it's called Azalea Town. Oh, dude, that Azuma Ball looks so sick! Not the biggest lover of Flareal, but the, the Azuma Ball, I like that. I like that a lot. Um, as I was saying, uh, wait a sec. I don't know what types you could be. Uh, let's go bearish song and then I'm going to switch. Because <laughs> I have no idea what type you guys are. I think a water fairy maybe? An electric fairy? It's got to be that, right? Anyway, maybe we'll take on Bugsy today. If we are taking on Bugsy, it could be pretty easy. Pretty easy. In the next episode, we'll go through the little rock. Is it rock tunnel? Or dark cave. It's something. Did I get personal off or I don't know if I did. I wasn't really paying attention. So I had my eyes shut trying to think. <laughs> right, this is Ice Beam you, and then we'll go for a uh, discharge. Probably not the best idea, but uh, yeah. Sorry. Right. Yes, yeah, so you're definitely water pro water fairy, and you. Oh wait, just realized you're level 36. Why am I worried? Why am I worried? I, in my head, I was thinking you're like the same level as me, because this is a post game, but you're level 36. I ain't scared of nothing. This is gonna be easy. Oh, it's so easy. It's got a dog trio, okay. I mean, no matter what you have, I don't think anything matters. We're gonna win. <laughs> We're gonna easily win. Oh, dude, there I was being scared for uh, absolutely no reason. Oh, that looks sick. The little face, look at his face. Oh, that's up there, one of my top fusions. I really, really dig that. Oh, I really like that a lot. That looks so cute. So, so cute. All right, so let's get to Elix Forest. Oh, what is going on here? Yo! Oh! Not before a Miltank and a Cyndaquil. Looks kind of wrong. <laughs> uh, chopping down lumberwood is rough, but someone's got to do it. If you want to help out, you can chop down these smaller trees while Cypher and I hack away at this large one. Okie dokie. Does this give us anything, maybe? Uh, okay. Oh, that, that it? So just thanks for helping me out. I don't get anything for it. Must might do someone a favor. Wow. Doing someone a favor and just not get anything in return, that's just the worst, man. <laughs> just the worst. I only do things in this game to get stuff in return for free. That's all I want. I don't ask for much. I bet there's a hidden item right here. Or not. Okie dokie. <laughs> 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 it just looks so stupid, <laughs> but so good at the same time. All the fusions in here are just... Oh, they're funny. Uh, let's go right. Ooh! So it looks like it's replacing the Celebi Shrine. Let's go to interact with it and something, maybe something happens, that'll be kind of cool. Almost there. I don't want to pop a repel just yet, just in case we find any more funny fusions, because funny fu wait, how do we, how do we get there? <gasps> oh, okay. 
An Aegis Ash and a Salamence. Uh, do want to capture that because a Salamence could be really cool. I don't think. Mm, I don't think it will kill you. Well, definitely not if you go for Protect. <gasps> oh, just about. Just about, dude. Oh, that was so close. That was super duper close. Nice, okay. Got something to fuse a Salamence now. Oh, it's still flying. I was thinking it'd be like still Dragon. Right, I'm gonna pop. Uh, not yet. Two more encounters. Oh, I can just walk across like that. Okay. It's in honor of the forest's protector. So I can't do anything with it. So maybe. I don't know, I have to do something else and then maybe it has something to. Ooh! No, I'm going to capture this because I want a Gengar. Oh, maybe I'm going to try Gengar Salamence, Gengar Zora, Gengar Aegislash. Gengar could potentially have some pretty decent fusions. Oh, dude, come on. Be a bro. Be a bro. Next Ultra Ball. This is the one. This is the one. Going to get you super easy. Just think. Dude, Gengar. Just... Like Deli Bird, don't worry about you, you suck. But Gengar, just figure all the possible fusions I can fuse you with. You could be really, really cool. I know it's Deli Bird right now, it's breaking out, and you want to come with me. 100%. Please just come with me. Yes, there we go. Whew. Dude, man, these Pokemon we're catching with the randomizer is just actually really good. What was this stuff like? Ages ago, when I first started playing the game. <laughs> like Salamence, Aegis Slash, Gengar. Can't complain, and a Weedle and a, Bead a Beedrill. <laughs> because a Beedle looks so wrong. <laughs> Alright, so we're at. Is it Azalea Town? Uh, I don't know, because the thing didn't come up. Looks a bit flooded. And why are you blocking the stairs? This is a bit weird, but okay. So the Pokemon Trade Center is closed until the flood situation is resolved. Okie dokie, so we're not going up there if we wanted to. Hey, Slowbro. Not blocking the way, but... Uh... Yo. Hello, my name is Kurt, and I obviously know who you are. You're Voltsy, the Kanto League champion. Oh, good. At least someone knows who I am. But you came to Azalea Town at an unfortunate moment. The Slowpoke's well suddenly started overflowing and it flooded the entire town. Wonder what caused it to happen. This is very unusual. Ooh, okay. Uh, how are we going to solve this problem? Honestly, have no idea. Sup? All this water looks like it's all coming from the Slowpoke's well. Uh, can't go into the gym, so we have to solve this uh, this incident first. So, uh, ooh. Is that the guy chased after Suicune? About this flood. I've got nothing to do with it. Leave me alone. Okay. So that means you probably have something to do with it. Oh. Uh, yo. So I can't... Oh, okay, so I'll talk to him again. Oh, it is him, okay. Oh, I, <laughs> I thought that said Mewtwo for a second then. I almost got a little bit scared. But we're fine. Okie dokie, so... What's up? Okay, okay, you got me. I just jammed a bunch of shelter in that well and it all flooded. No big deal. Why did I do it? Uh, well, I most definitely can't tell you or you'll mess everything up. But now that my identity is revealed, that old gym leader will surely chase me away from the, from the town. Ugh. <laughs> you win this time. I shall leave. Now scram. Okie dokie. Oh. Kind of glitched out a little bit, but... Can we maybe, uh... No, I can't get in there, so let's go talk to the gym leader, maybe? Nope. Go talk to Kurt. Oh, what's that you say? Uh, you seen intentionally flooded it? That's horrible. Hmm, I see. This makes a lot of sense. The shelter must be blocking a natural water drain in the cave system. And it's our duty to go help that poor shelter. Well then, if we're diving into the wall, you should probably teach this to one of your Pokemon. Ace, hey, so we got dive. 
Nice. Okay. So that means when we get back to Kanto, there's a lot of stuff we can explore. Well, I say a lot. I think the dive spots I can remember are going down from Pallet Town to Cinnabar, then Cinnabar to Fuchsia. That's the only dive spots I can remember, but there's probably some more somewhere. Uh, I was going to say goodbye to Rock Smash. Nice. Okie dokie. My game's glitched out a little bit. It's got this little, I don't know, water thing. When you stand in the water just all around me. We can dive down now. Ooh. This is really cool. That was such a, like, a cool idea. Uh, ooh. How do I get them out? Oh, I can push this? Uh, I need to teach someone strength, though. Maybe we've got to push that on the shield. I mean, I feel like I might crush him, but... Hey, if it gets the well unblocked, then, uh, yeah, who cares? <laughs> uh, let's get rid of Uncle Tail. Okie dokie, let's see if this works. Definitely not then. Right. Let me get out and go back. There's got to be something I'm missing. Wait, what? I can push the slowpoke? Ah, okay, so I'm assuming I pushed the slow poke <laughs> like that. Okie dokie. That's where it's going to get kind of difficult now. Uh, I think I just want to probably push you up. Definitely don't want to push you. Do we? Um... I think if I'm gonna do this. Oh, I think I have to push you down there, then I can push you down. And then across. Oh no. That blocks that path. Ah oh, no, okay, so let me go out. Maybe I won't have to reset anything. Yeah, still free there. Okay, so if we go. Oh, the best way to do this, I'm trying to think. Um, I feel like we have to push you there. That definitely goes like this, so we can push you down. Let's do that, and then I can... this up I think this is what I want to do and then wait oh no it's fine I can do this push you all the way across So we're just pushing the slow poke. Right. That's another one. I think this should be relatively easy. Now I can just push you guys all the way across. This is actually kind of sweet. Alright, last one. That wasn't so bad. Probably not the right way to do it, but hey, it gets the job done, you know? So who cares? All 
Alrighty, all shelter have now unclogged the well. Hey, and there's an item right there as well. Water stone, sweet. Uh, I guess we can't go up there. Ooh, you did it, Volty. You drained the well, and now the town has returned to normal. Thank you so much for helping our town. It isn't much, but I want you to have these for helping us out. Candy balls, what? Those are special Pokeballs that I crafted myself. You make a Pokemon gain a few levels when it's captured with it. Ooh. You also may not know it, but I happen to be this town's gym leader. Wait, what? You're the gym leader? If you would be honored, or I would be honored if you'd pay me a visit at the gym. Hope I'll see you there. Ooh, okay. So Kurt's the gym leader. In the actual story, did, was he the gym leader before Bugsy? Because if he was, I did not know that. And that's actually real sweet. All right, I'm going to quickly heal up. Also, save the game while we're at it. And then we will actually, before we do that, go and check out this house because it was blocked before. So, uh, Farfetch brings us branches from Elix Forest and we turn them to charcoal. Can I have a free charcoal? I think it's once you rescue Farfetch in the uh, Johto games, that's when they give you charcoal. But it's going to be a bug type gym, so we can just uh, Zapizard. Fire Fang, everything. Let's go. Give me a tip if I beat you. Okie dokie. Come on for tips. Oh. Oh, dude, Blossom. Looks like you just got bigger than someone stepped on you. <laughs> oh, dude, I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, a Chico Sect. Okay, it's gonna look so bad. Oh my god, that looks so weird. I don't know why, but it just reminds me of like a UFO. Like the body shape. <laughs> uh, I guess we take you on as well, and then probably talk to you again to get the uh, get the information. That's actually not bad. That's kind of cool. Kind of like that. Level forty nine. Not too bad. Not too bad. Fire Fang. Sweet. Lead choke. Okay, Ledian and Machoke, I guess. I. It just looks like, again, a Ledian has been hit in the gym super hard. <laughs> Anything that fuses with Machoke, just like, it's just been hit in the gym. Ledian's been like, just pumping them guns up, man. Touch the webs in the correct order. What's the order? Okie dokie, and then I guess, nope, this one, wait, oh, we've got to hit these again? What? Uh, okay, a bit confused right now, but, a balados. <laughs> the wings are coming out of his butt, <laughs> definitely lives up to his name, you know, butter, butt, dos. But it's got wings out of the butt, so I don't care. And that just looks like two swanubs back to front, fusing the middle with a Aria Dos part. I don't know. I look weird. Right, so how are we doing this? So I guess I go. And I've got to reset it again because of... Wait. thought maybe I had to reset it because last time I hit that, I swear it didn't work, but... Ah, okay. So it's that, that. 50-50 chance. This one. Yes! 50-50 chance. This one. Yes! Woo! Let's go, BB! I'm gonna fight you anyway, just because I want the, uh, to see your fusions. Don't need the XP. I mean, God of War and Zorak do, but... Ooh! It just looks like a Kabut... I... Maybe what a Kabutops could have looked like if it wasn't a fossil. I kind of like that. <laughs> I don't know, I, kinda, I think it kind of suits it well, just because the the claws. <laughs> Kabutops is a descendant of uh, Cypher. Oh, dude, that's kind of cool. Alright, 
right, let's go and take on Kurt, shall we? Yo. Hello, young one. My name is Kurt. I have studied bug Pokemon for my entire life. I'll teach you not to underestimate bug-type Pokemon. Champion or not, get ready for some schooling. I'm ready for some schooling. So, Bidos. Ooh. The claws look so scary. A bit of purple on them. Let's go for it. Oh, Shadow Sneak, okay. Ooh. Probably should have healed up uh, Zappy's art a little bit before the fight, but eh, we'll be fine. Ooh, let's go. Take out one hit this time. Uh, Forester. Fortress and. Oh, Cloister. That looks really nice. I don't know why, I just really like that. Ah, oh, that's kind of cool. I don't hit five times. We've got a critical hit in there as well. Great. Let's find one more discharge and full restore. That's all good. Dude, that looks really nice. Good fusion. It's like just very simple, but very. I don't know, it's very clever as well. Ooh, that looks scary. Uh, I'm guessing it'll be Dragon Ball. Let's go for Ancient Power. Nice. I'm trying to think. Is there an actual Dragon... Oh, God. Oh, dude. What have they done to you? Anyway, that's the same. Is there a Dragon Bug Pokemon? There probably is, but at the moment I cannot think of one. Dragon Bug, Dragon Bug. There has to be. There has to be, but right now I just cannot think of it. I'll Google it. Because this battle is not going to be hard. Uh, we need to go for a... Smackdown might do good. When I see it, I'll be like, oh, of course. Right, so Dragon Bug Pokemon. Oh. I don't think there is. Nothing's coming up. Which would be... Oh, press the wrong button. I was pressing on like, why, why, why are you not doing anything? Yeah, I don't think there's a Dragon Bug Pokemon. Probably why I can't think of one. Like, nothing's coming up when I typed it. Uh... Yeah, there is no Dragon Bug Pokemon. Crazy. Smack it down again. Ow. And a oh that. Isn't that wouldn't that be like really high defense for a Blissian uh, Shuckle? <laughs> oh dude. Uh what do, what do, what do? Let's try to dive. Please do damage. That leftover is actually kind of annoying. Yeah, that's much better. Live, live, live. Ah, oh, critical hit. That sucks. But we can finish you off with Aqua Tail. Everything's all good. I think we'll finish you off. Yeah, good. Then bring out that dragon bug again. Yandra! Dragon Dance. Not Dragon Dance, Dragon Tail. <sighs> Ow. We missed, are you kidding? We're dead. Dude, missing is just super annoying. It's fine, Garrus has got this. Dude, that's a lot of damage. There we go. I got really tough at the end, that Yandra was going in on us. <laughs> really hard. Unbelievable. Very well, you can have the Hive Badge. Hey, thank you, Kurt. And we've got Quiver Dance. Ooh, thank you. Excuse me, but I must leave. Come pay me a visit at my house if you fancy a chat. I kind of do. What do you want to chat about? Might give me something, that'll be... Why are you behind the, the, the Pokemon Center? In the forest, a rare ghost Pokemon from another region. Uh... Okay. Uh, oh, hello, Volty. You fought remarkably well in our gym battle. You truly deserve this city's badge. This is my home. As you can see, I like to make Pokeballs as a hobby. I carve them out of small fruits called apricorns that grow in the Johto region. 
hope to focus entirely on my craft when I retire from being a gym leader. Here, I'll give you a sample of the balls I make. You can purchase some more whenever, of course. Ooh, Scorch Ball, Spark Ball, Toxic Ball. Just give me some pretty cool looking, well, sounding balls. I assume they're gonna look cool as well, but can we actually see what they look like? Oh, that looks really cool. They're not much different. I think the designs could be a bit better, but not bad. So there's a ghost Pokemon in the the forest then, but I'm not sure if it'll actually be there because it's the randomizer. I have no idea, but I think it's probably a great place to end this episode off. Did a lot today. Next episode, we'll head to uh, Violet City. Maybe got Sprout Tower. Maybe go take on the first. I said the first gym, the um, the third gym, the first in Jodo Games. But I'll catch you guys next time. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Peace.